About one in five Americans today are Hispanic. One in four students enrolled in our schools today, K through 12, are Hispanic. Just over one third of all Catholics in the United States are Hispanic. Who should that interest? I would argue it interests all of us. If we understand this community better, it allows us to make better strategic decisions as to what kind of a country we want to leave for our children. And in fact, this community might represent the ideal America that we all have always aspired for our country to be. Five fellow political scientists and myself got together, and we decided to put together a data set that would actually help inform the national understanding of what it means to the country to have this growing Latino population increasingly present in more parts of the country than ever before. From this survey, we're now on our third and final volume, and here we're developing the analysis based upon an understanding that they're a community that's characterized by a set of what we call multiple identities. This community today, even across generations, simultaneously identifies very strongly with their country of origin, but at the same time, they also identify very strongly as pan-ethnic Latinos or Hispanics. Notice, I'm not saying they're one or the other. They are both and, but they also identify very strongly as Americans. Previous research had shown that folks by generation very quickly transitioned from identifying first and foremost with their country of origin and later with their American identity. We found that that's not the case anymore. So we're using this concept of multiple identities to then explain how it is that Latinos understand themselves in American politics. So, for example, we found that the strongest reason that Latinos give for wanting to vote for a candidate is because of similar issue positions. So are they ethnic voters? Yes, to a degree, but they're more substantive policy issue voters, which many of us would say is the ideal kind of voter that you would want and completely consistent with the American tradition. I'd like to continue to do this research to especially understand how those different political identities provide new opportunities for our political system to become more civically engaged than ever before. I want to do research that provides some hints to both major political parties as to how it is that they might be able to uh, make effective appeals to Latino communities and through Latino communities to many other communities across um, the United States. My approach to teaching graduate students is to find what their research passion is and then to support them in understanding how that research can help political institutions, can help countries, can help citizens more effectively determine what they might want their futures to be. And should they, at a particular time in their career, have the opportunity to work outside of the academy, then I think I will have done my job to be able to support them along multiple dimensions of their own personal development as scholars and as citizens.